All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste some people out of an image and put them in another image and try to do it in a realistic way by using some of the filters available in Photoshop. Because if you just paste it in, it usually doesn't look very good. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is make my selection. I'm going to use the selection tool, which is up here. And you just kind of grab the skin that you want. And you're going to see that it's going to probably grab some other things that I don't want to grab. Uh, and that's okay. I'm going to get some of this white as well here. Um, so to get rid of those areas, I'm going to hold down the Alt key. See if I make my brush a little bigger, you'll see it. If I hold down the Alt key, you'll see that it turns into this minus sign. So I'm going to select this grass right here and also up here. And I got some of these other things selected, but not a big deal because we're going to end up not seeing that. It's going to be off camera. So I just want to kind of zoom in here and kind of refine my edges. Um, it looks pretty good. You can see it's got a little bit up here. It also grabbed. I can go in here and hold down Alt to make sure it doesn't get this hair in here. And I can get that again. That looks pretty good here. Um, you don't have to be that picky, but you definitely don't want any extra. Um, I'm going to show, I'm just going to add a little bit, show you something, see if I have a mistake like that, for example. I'm going to do Control C to copy it. I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to do Control V to paste. Now, I don't see it. So I'm going to go up to the selection tool here and turn on my show transform controls. And you'll see this little box come up here. And that's because the image is off camera. I can't really see it. So I got to make sure. I move that. So I'm going to resize this a little bit. There we are. So there's the hands that I wanted. And you can see I have that little mistake up here, right? Just want to show you that when I when I try to move it or do something else, it's going to ask, do you want to apply the transform? Yeah, I do. That's that's perfect the way it is. But I also want to show you that there's this little area right inside there that was a mistake. So I'm going to resize my brush here. I can just use the erase tool and go in there and kind of erase that little spot right there. Um, you might want to make sure that you use a hard brush, though. I was kind of using a soft brush there. There we go. Kind of just erase that spot right there. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom back to 100% and look at it from here. Okay. Um, so, just going to kind of move here. Okay. Uh, first thing I notice is this is a little bit bluer than the background. So I'm going to apply a filter to it. So I'll go up here to Photo Filter. I click that once. And right now it's applying it to the whole image. I only want it to affect the layer below it. So I'm going to cl click this little button right here. And that means it's only going to adjust that layer. So you see that little arrow right there? It means it's only affecting that layer right there. I can change the density of this filter, basically how strong I want this orange to come in. And, you know, find an area that you like. I, I think, you know, up here around 40 or 50% looks pretty good. It's up to you. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Now it matches the background a little more, so it's more realistic in that way. Also, there's a strong light source behind there. In fact, I want to make it stronger. So I'm going to duplicate the background, just in case I want to go back. I'm going to hit OK when I duplicate it. I'm going to have this background selected here. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Render, and then let's do uh, Lighting Effects. So you can see now I have this ball here, and I can move it around, and it's only affecting the background here. Basically, the sun is right there, and I'm going to intensify this and also change the size of it. So you can grab this little green line and stretch it, and you can choose how bright it's going to be, or, or the size, the scale of it. So make it a little bit larger. You can mess with the exposure. You know, if you turn it right down, it actually makes a lot of things dark. So I'm going to turn this up to right around there. looks fine to me. And uh, when you're done with that, you're going to hit OK. And then it goes back to this image here. And so what I need to do now, though, is add a glow to this arm. Um, you know, usually when you have a strong light source like this and you're behind it, you kind of see a glow around the edges. So I'm going to have that layer selected here. And I'm going to go up to Layer. And then Stylize Layer. Wait, layer Style, I'm sorry. Layer Style, and then I'm going to do Inner Glow. Brings up this dialog box here. You can see it doesn't look very realistic right now. Uh, I'm going to change that color instead of yellow. Let's choose actually more of a brown color like this. All right, now you can see it there. And you can change the size of it, right? We're not going to go real large, just a little bit. Um, you can kind of see it along the edges here. You can also um, choose how strong it is or the opacity of it. You know, you may think that less opacity and a larger size might look more realistic. So it's kind of coming around the edges a little bit more. Uh, if you don't have this preview on, you won't actually see it. You can kind of tap this to see the difference too. I think over here looks pretty good though. So then I'm going to hit OK. That looks good. All right. Um, that's about it. You know, I, so to kind of review here, we added this um, inner glow effect, 
we also added this photo filter. It was too blue and now it's a little more orange. And also we intensified the, the light in the background. So um, that's about it. Good luck.